be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. Hello everybody, I'm Beethoven, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 3. You do catch us right now back here in Irithyll, ready to fight Pontiff Sullivan. Uh, the guy's beaten us, up, beaten us up a couple of times, not in the last couple of episodes, uh, but during the period of time when we first went into a couple of fights with him. Uh, so right now we are back to gain um, vengeance and hopefully defeat him in this battle. Last episode was a lot of fun as well, I must say. We explored quite a few interesting lore elements as far as the uh, whole Isolith uh, style of things were to be concerned. In addition to um, the Sun's firstborn and a couple of other little tidbits as well, which was quite interesting. In addition to exploring more of the um, Isolith. In fact, the runes of Isolith, which was pretty fun indeed, I must say. Um, and right now, moving on, we will be getting back into Sullivan here in Irithyll. And beyond that, I think we're going to go to the profane capital. Ooh, very nice pickup. So yes, here we go. Let's go. The Pontiff Knight Great Scythe. We do pick up there. Pretty cool. Great Scythe, of course, being a beautiful weapon. Though I don't know how it works in this game, I must say. Uh, but it's been pretty damn useful in the previous games, that's for sure. Uh, very powerful. Able to attain early on. High scaling, high damage, you know it, the good stuff. So let's move on. Okay, touch summon sign, Black Hand Got Art. Hey, didn't we fight that guy at some point? I think we killed that guy here in this area. Or was it in a different area? Hmm. Either way, very familiar. We'll sip up just before we go in. We'll use these because I think he deals some sort of magic or dark damage looking at the... Uh, you know, aura surrounding his weapon and being. Could be wrong, but it's worth to give it a try anyway. Oh, it's flame. He's got a flaming sword. Oh, but the left hand in the off, off hand, that does look a bit different, so there is that. Oh, God. Let me at least get a hit in so I can see how much damage the buff does. God damn it. Jesus, the reach on that thing as well. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we're never getting a heal in here, boys. Let's just die and just try and get a hit in um, before we die. Okay, at least I've seen what it was made of. <laughs> you died. I had a feeling there as well. I should have uh, gone into the fight before using anything uh, just to kind of familiarize myself with the pace of it. With the pace of the fight. He's got good range, he's fast, he's got great stamina dis destruction, and he's got great damage. What does this guy not have? Interesting. Then again, I guess that's kind of fitting with the enemies in the area as well, because they seem uh, extremely quick and spammy with the attacks as well. That was a good dodge, I guess. Um, and by spammy, I mean the guys with the curved swords, like this guy. And he's just proving my point there. <laughs> Ooh, behind me. Then again, I guess he's not proving my point. He didn't spam it. But some of them, when they get into the string of attacks, they can do it like six times. Anyway, here we go. Let's try and focus up a little more this time. Jesus Christ. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, that was quick. Missed time a roll. Tried to leave it till as late as possible. Please don't hurt me now. Oh, God. Uh, to be honest, with this one, guys, uh, we might be approaching an Abritus situation. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it means you've not watched the, the entirety of my <laughs> Bloodborne Blind playthrough. Uh, an Abritus situation is where 
Uh, I need to just beat this guy totally without any commentary. Um, because I need to actually... He's hard enough for me to actually need to pay attention to properly. Um, which is what I ended up doing with the Brightus in Bloodborne when I first fought her. So, um, I mean, I don't need to do that anymore with the Brightus, but considering it's a blind playthrough, it's your first, you know, rodeo with a boss. Uh, that's what needs to be done. So, um, yeah, we might have to do that at some point with this guy, uh, to be totally honest. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But um, just for warning you guys, we may end up... Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what? I might just let these guys kill me so I can reset the bonfire with the heals. And there is also something else that I want to do as well. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the best. I want to do something else just before we go in there. I didn't think that all these dudes would have actually followed me up the stairs as well. That caused the issue there. Um, but yeah, just for warning you, we may need to... Uh, do a bit of that a brighter strat <laughs> for this. Have we got any... Yeah, okay, that could do well as well. I'm going to pop every single bug pellet I've got. <laughs> you know what? We're probably not going to use that. We're not going to use the... the pyros on this guy, I don't think. So let's travel back to... We might as well, if we de-equip uh, that flask, travel back to Firelink Shrine here uh, and get Andre to reallocate one of our Restus flasks towards healing. Because if we're not going to need the mana anyway, we might as well just go for that. Get 12 of them. Alrighty. Let's go. Ah, Let's go. Re... Oh, no, we don't need to reinforce. A lot, Estus. There we go. Drag that over there. That's good. Perfect. Pretty big. And let's get back out there. Get back out to Pontiff. Here we go, travel. Church of Yoshka. That's where we need to go. And if you know how an Abritus uh, strat starts, it's usually at the start of an episode. It's usually just um, at the start. I don't commentate at all, and then I come in after we've beat the boss. Like, hello, easy, easy clap. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't do that really, but I do do the other stuff. I, I do actually come in at the... Um, end after we've killed the boss and just say welcome to the episode and so on and so forth so uh, if we don't kill him here in one or two more tries I think we'll explore the profane capital more for this episode um, and then come back with the usual technique that I like that's probably what we'll end up doing hmm alrighty there we go Whew. Items equipped, and we're ready to fight him. Yeah, because sometimes, at least on a blind playthrough, um, not once I've played the game a few times, because, you know, then you're used to it, you've learned the patterns a lot more, and you're able to uh, perform a little better on the fights, but on blind playthroughs, they can occasionally be a boss that uh, requires me to, to fight without commentary. This may be him. <laughs> there was one blo boss in Bloodborne that required that. Um, and this may be the one for Dark Souls 3. Come on. Yeah, it's greed. Greed. Never do that attack with this guy. He's way too fast for it. Oh no! I didn't have my essence active. Huge mistake. Don't die because of this, please. It's been somewhat of a decent start, so... God damn this guy. Jeez, man. He is actually pretty tough. He's actually pretty tough. Though, uh, we got a good start there. I just kind of uh, lost the rhythm a little bit by going like a stupid person. Uh, going for a two-handed R2. 
with a halberd there, super long charge up time, and the lasting effects of that attack actually take a long time too. You've got the two spins, it can hit you throughout, and then uh, you've got the little weight displacement of the um, displacement of the character at the end there too. Though to be honest, I think these bug pellets are kind of doing the business for me. Uh, it certainly seems like we're taking a little less damage. That could be due to, to a couple of things though. We're a higher level now as well. Uh, we've upped our HP, so uh, that's likely to be one of the reasons why we don't seem to be taking as much. Uh, in addition to that, our defenses may have also gone up due to leveling up. Um, but I, I kind of like to think that the bug pellets are doing some good stuff for us here too. So we'll pop all of them here. Pop that one last because I feel like it may be the most important. And there we go. Get back into it. Good dodge. No. No! Oh. Get me out. Get me out. Chill for a moment, please. Well, that's good Estus, actually. Getting up to plus six was awesome. Tasty Estus right there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, calm down. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to say come on. Sadly, the buff's worn off now. I feel like that was doing a good job for me too. I uh, just want to keep these popped. Keep all these in there. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Damn, when Dargon said this was going to be a memorable fight, he... Memorable fight, he wasn't kidding. Oh, God. Damn, yo. I can't even see myself. I legit can't see myself. Um... Right, let's go for a run. Ouch. Trying to kite them a little bit. I don't want to rely on having to focus on the shadow. But we're going to have to kill that guy, I think. I want to split them up a little bit if possible. How did I lose lock there? Nah, I, I genuinely don't know how I lost lock that time. He must have gone so far off uh, screen he was out of my reach. Damn, if only he stayed as one dude, it'd be no problem. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Seen the, the massive difficulty spike there once you uh, once you actually have to fight the two at two at once. He wouldn't be anywhere near as bad if that wasn't the case. Um, but he is rather tough, and I'm willing to give it another go anyway. How many pellets we got? I kind I think the handmaiden at the shrine st uh, shares uh, or at least sells um, some gear like that. Um. Sells bug pellets. I'm thinking at least. So we could probably go back there and pick up some more after squeezing some souls. Not that we necessarily need them. We've got some left, but um, kind of need a couple more dark ones. Uh, and I'm not sure if the offhand weapon is dark or magic. Looking at it, it's probably dark, but I'm not sure. The sword in his right hand, though, of course, being, of course, fire um, and so on and so forth. Let's consume some of these souls. Soul of a demon. Ooh, that, that yielded quite a few. Soul of the old demon king. Blood of the wolf. 20,000 for that as well. Very nice. Alrighty, with our 60,000, we'll go back. Get some more gear ready. And get back at him. 
I know we can do him. You're always capable, no matter who you are as a player, uh, capable of beating any boss, that's for sure. Um, so I know we'll do him. We just need to be a little patient, that's all. Ah, well met, Ashen One. Here we go. Let's purchase some items. Which bug pellets did I need? Oh, crap, she's not got fire ones. I best make them count. God damn. Yeah, I best make them count, that's for sure. Oof. Um, might also get some green blossom, you know. Hold up. Ashen One. Beesh. The black bl bug pellet. We've got one of them. Let's use some green blossom. Ah. Purchase. Okay, so she sells them. That's not too bad. Let's go up to... Let's get let's get five of them. Two more of... Eh, we don't really need lightning ones. Um, we get two more of them right now. I think that will be cool. You know what? Let's make it two more, actually. Three more. Screw it. <laughs> I'm greedy. Um, and a few of these as well. Let's actually get eight. Good. Ashen one. I think that'll do us. I think that'll set us in good stead. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And equip the lightning buff once again. And then let's get back to fighting this guy. Level up. Might as well, because if we go in there and die again, these souls are going to be lost, so we might as well use them, right? We're only getting a few extra points here. I'm going to pop the stamina up to 22 there, actually. Okay, it's just a shame we can't break another threshold, can we, with what we've got? Oh, we might be able to, but there is actually more souls there, so we will use them. I don't want to just randomly lose 16,000 now. See if these break the barrier for us. The Fading Soul's probably not gonna, though there is quite a lot of them. Though even that said, we're still only gonna get, like, under 500 souls for this lot. But either way, we shall squeeze and squeeze again. Let's mix it up from the Fading Soul, keep things fresh. Let's go for the Soul of an Unknown Traveler there as well. Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. R.I.P. And where's the rest? There we go, more Fading Souls. We're going to have well enough here by the looks of it. <laughs> we might want to do this again with some of the other boss souls. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. And that will do that. Dequip them. And talk. Level up. How many are we going to have left here? 9,000, okay. There we go. And we need 18k. I just want something to margin marginally break the threshold here. Um, Soul of the Rotted Greatwood might, right? No, it does not. Not even close. Um, okay, don't go too far, though. Don't go too far. Just give me, give me a decent amount, but not too much. It's a decent amount, and it's not too much. Um, but just a slight bit more, though, please. Hold up, was that my last one? Boys, I think that was my last one right there. Oh no, there's one more right there. Deacons of the Deep. Watch it, we'll end up crossing the threshold massively again. And we did, god damn it. Never mind, it's okay, we can do that. And we're back up to the full circle. Full circle, ladies and gentlemen. Either way, that's fine, that's totally fine. Deacons of the Deep, Squozen. Let's go. I refuse to summon somebody for this fight as well, because uh, even if it's an NPC, as um, I have that set rule with myself where I must, I must um, fight or, or beat a boss on a blind playthrough at least once on my own. I must beat every boss in my, you know, first encounter with it, the first time I fight it. Um, at least once on my own. Must happen. Ever since Demon Souls, I've had that goddamn <laughs> self-rule. That rule placed upon myself. Just to prove that I'm worthy. And with trying and trying again, as the phrase goes, you shall eventually succeed. So let's get it. Let's get it. 
God, the moment when we're coming into a boss fight, popping like four different buffs. Jesus. <laughs> uh, it all makes it more fun because uh, I don't usually play that way, as I'm sure you guys can see. Don't combo breaker us. Who do you think you are, Manus? Oh, I got caught by that. Don't, don't. Oh, Jesus. That's going to be a good opportunity to heal. Concentrated, Matt. Come on. I'm gonna beat you this time, Sullivan. <laughs> Mark my words. Look at look at everything I am eating. I am full. I am a big, thick boy. I'm ready to go. And that's why I shouldn't talk too much. Damn, dude. Holy hell. Well, thank God I'm out of range of that, right? No. No, 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 no. Oh, he always jumps back as well. Look at that. It's like a pair of gankers, right? Uh, they always stick together. This sh shadow always jumps back to, to be by his side. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I need you to... Oh, man. Rip. Oh, my. Wait, what? That damage was incredible, yo. That was crazy. <laughs> man, the way they stick together, it'd be GG in no time if you didn't have that ability. Oh, man. Right now, folks, just so we preserve our, uh, you know, goodies there. And we're able to actually um, do something more than just the boss fight in the episode. We will be going back to the Profane Capital, uh, which means we may need to do in a brighter situation in the future. Who knows? Um, but, yeah, I think it's time to continue down the Profane Capital route now as well. Let's see what awaits us there further. I don't think we went too deep last time. I know we did actually... Oh, could this have been the bit? I think I just rejogged my memory accidentally there. I think this was the bit I was talking about a couple of episodes back, um, where I said I there was a place where we needed to go, where we dropped down to into a swampy portion, um, and I couldn't exactly remember where it was. I think it might be down this path up there, uh, or up there maybe, uh, and dropping down into a little bit of a swampy portion. I think it may have been the profane capital. Once again, I could be wrong, but um, this may be it. But regardless of that. Um, we didn't actually explore too much here. I don't think we only did uh, a little bit, and then it was time to end the episode, I think, uh, from what I remember. Uh, but I'm excited to be here, and excited to get back at it. That's for sure. So here we go, let's roll. There we go. Tighten up the Gargoyle. Kind of like the little move that he did there as he tried to uh, bat us with his wings as well. We went around the side of him. In addition to that, he followed it up with his axe. Rather cool. Yeah, this was it. This was it for sure. Down there, right? Yeah, I knew it. Good. Good, good, good. I'm glad we remembered where this was. Let's put that on just in case. Was it toxic, though? Let me just uh, prepare for that just in case. But first, 
Ooh, we actually make the jump this time. I bet you guys didn't expect that. <laughs> Gotta check around the corners so gingerly. Oh, here we go. Oh, we took a look at this last time, I think, or, or at least from, like, this angle, and then worked down that path a little more up there and then fell down. Um, good to actually come out here and give it a full view. In the oh, oh, did we? Maybe we did anyway and we just... Yeah, I think we did, actually, but we just decided to go back that way first and ended up dropping in there anyway. But either way, it's good to actually come out here and give it a good look again. Item up on the rooftop there. I must say, too, quite an interesting building in solitude underground on its own. I wonder what the purpose of that was. Maybe that exact thing will be alleviated as we venture further into it. What are you looking at? I see you up there. This guy is like watching us as we go as we go along. Hold on. Let me equip a crossbow here for a moment. I'm not going to shoot him by the way. I'm just going to Oops. There we go. Yeah, what are you looking at? What are you looking at, mister? Is it me or is that? Are his eyes following us as well? Like, he's looking our way. Hold on, we'll be able to tell when we wrap around and to a different angle. No, he's not following us. Do you not want me to take that item? Is that what it is, my friend? Well, <laughs> guess again, uh, because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hopefully he doesn't have a ranged attack. It looks like he's got a melee weapon at the moment. Okay, he doesn't mind, but no doubt he wants to fight us when we get up there. Blooming purple moss clump, very nice as well. Very appropriate for the area that we're in as well, it seems, so cool stuff. Uh, but without um, dropping down there just yet, we will once again continue to try and look a little bit further through these corridors. Try and explore a little more. Oh man, the game that... Ooh, Crystal Lizard. The game that offers such a deep sense of exploration and enjoyment. Dark Souls, man. Dark Souls, all of them. Regardless of your favourite, regardless of, you know... How good you think one is or whatever. And, and I'm not saying one is in number one. I'm saying one is in how good you think one of the games is or how bad you think another is or whatever. Um, they always offer some, such a deep, uh, meaningful sense of exploration. They really do. I absolutely love that. I love it. I love it. I love it for sure. So beautiful. So awesome. Now let's tighten up these guys again. We're just going to accept that we're going to get uh, toxic up. But that's fine, because we can always heal it. By virtue of Estus. Or by Blooming Moss. I don't want to use too many of them, but we'll just give it a reset. We'll use one reset there. Poison Gem, probably for imbuing your weapon with poison. Hmm, just paying attention to the screams that these guys do as well, to be honest. Let's give that another listen. I'll be quiet for a moment. I mean, he did do a little bit of moaning that time, but it wasn't exactly the scream I was thinking of. The Curse Bite Ring. Okay, we'll pop that on right away just while we're exploring this area. Oh, wait, no, that's the Curse Bite Ring. Never mind. I was thinking Poison Bite there for a moment. We've already got that. <laughs> then again, does that affect Toxic? I don't think it does anyway. Um... Oh, it looks like it changed the bars a little bit, maybe, so. Hmm, possibly does. Oh, no, it doesn't affect Toxic. It changed the, the poison bar meter. That makes sense. We'll take that off again. But, for, but first, though, I need to make sure I'm not going to die. And let's pop our roly-poly ring back on. Let's get going. Let's get rolling. <laughs> you, you get it? You get it, folks? Uh, I'm not the best at jokes. I'm not the funniest person in the world. But uh, let's get back rolling through this area. There we go. That was the scream that I was talking about. Like I said, they did do a bit of a moan. The other one did do a bit of a moan the other time, but it didn't quite sound like that. There we go. That's not the one. It's not the one I'm talking about. However, this one. There we go. That little whine that they do. Quite interesting as well, I must say. 
Damn, Toxic really does do business, right? It certainly does. Don't hit us. There we go. We don't want to be... You definitely don't want to be chunked down um, when you're in a toxic environment. Uh, because you know that last little bit of HP that you're left with is going to be getting pulled down rather quickly. So, must bear that in mind. The HP is working its way down constantly. So, you don't want to get chunked. Because otherwise, like I say, you're going to be getting zero HP very quickly. Now, that, str that scream is quite cute. I mean, not cute, sorry, but quite interesting. And leading on from cute, it's not as cute as the guys in um, the Demon Ruins. Maybe it's weird that I find those guys kind of cute, but it's mainly not their aesthetics, though. That actually does look quite sweet as well, um, in a strange way. It's mainly the scream that I'm referring to. Um, but either way, yeah, not, not, as, not as sweet as those guys, that's for sure. Uh, but still rather interesting. We've got some unique screams in this one, that's for sure. There we go. Finally get rid of that toxicity. And before we go in that door down there, this is why I wrapped around. I want to go up the ladder first, see if we can get that to that guy at the top. Maybe we actually need to go through the building to get to that guy. Uh, who knows, right? But worth taking a look around anyway. What's in there? Through these shuttered gates... These cell-like pieces of steel on the windows. Oh. Big boy. Big dude in there. Oh, it does look like we can go up further as well. I did see the doorway, though. Don't get me wrong, I'm just... Uh, I did see it. I'm just working my way around here. I want to see where everything goes. Don't aggro. Okay, we can get up there now at least. And he is angry. He is an enemy. Good to know. Nope. You telling me that kick didn't take effect there? Come on. Come on, FromSoft. I know it did. I know my kick worked right there. Damn, this guy recovers pretty quick too. Even right after casting a spell. Roll BS, maybe? Nope. Quite agile. Quite an agile fellow you are, right? We did eventually get a stagger there, though. Ooh, that attack does big damage. You need to be careful with this, dude. That was good. That's not so good. That was too aggressive. Ooh, and now we must heal. Haha. <laughs> he's, he's low. We just need to tighten him up. There we go. Got him. That's quite a weapon as well, for sure. Big, great mace warhammer type thing with... Oh. With fire emanating from the top. Uh, Logan Scroll, definitely got to give that one a read. Not it may it may not be referring to what I'm thinking about, but still got to give it a read nonetheless. Here we go. Is that the one? That's Golden Scroll, Logan Scroll, Sweet Scroll of the Profaned Capital Court, Sorcerers containing Sorceries of Logan. Hey, there we go. Maybe it is what I was thinking. Give to a sorcerer to learn Logan's sorceries. The court sorcerers use this scroll to claim heirship to Logan's legacy. Though how, t though how that claim stands up to closer scrutiny is another story. Hmm. The court sorcerers use this scroll to claim airship to Logan's sorcery. Though how that claim stands up, uh, stands up to closer scrutiny, is another story. Yeah, probably because of how um, the absolute urge and. Um, unfaltering desire for knowledge and uh, intelligence to deepen his knowledge of sorceries eventually drove him to madness and um, going crazy looking for the primordial crystal, crystal magic and all that kinds of stuff. Uh, so people probably look down on those sorcerers that claim airship um, because of that very same thing. They, they, they think that they're probably, go probably going to end up the same way, going absolutely insane. 
Interesting. All righty. But we can give that to a sorcerer nonetheless to uh, actually learn more sorceries, which is quite cool. And we are on the rooftop here. We can roll up that. And then roll on down and grab this item. What's this about? Poison arrows. Okay. That would be a weird place for an illusory wall, I know, but I've got to try it. <laughs> I've got to try it. It's, it's worked out in the past. We've tried a couple of places that we didn't necessarily uh, originally expect. And it turns out we have reaped the benefits from that quite nicely. So... Um, you can never go wrong. Never go wrong hitting a wall. Okay, now what do I want to do? Do I want to go up this way or work my way into that building? Hmm, kind of want to go into the building to be totally honest with you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go in here. Oh, we can drop onto an item here as well. Very nice. Now that we've come to the top. Oh my god, okay. Wrath of Gods. Yo, hold up. What the hell is that? Let me make sure there's none others around here. There's a mimic there. A very chunky, or chunky as people like to say these days, hand? Like a, a big palm body? I mean, the body looks kind of humanic at least. Like, regular, somewhat. But... The, the top portion of the body is just a, a giant fist. A giant hand. I bet he's popular with all the ladies, right? Well, hey. Um, no, I'm trying to look at what's, what he's holding in his hand there as well, but I can't quite make it out. I wonder if we can get a plunging attack here. We can. Oh, my God. It actually stands on all four. Oh, my God. Chunky for sure. He's not really holding anything. It's like a bunch of bubbles and goop and globs in his mouth. Hence that attack right there. Can we get a BS here like we did on the boars? No, we can. But he can sit on us. My god, we're getting low here on HP too. Okay, let's try and keep our range because he does seem quite slow. So we'll try and burn him away with this. Sadly, we don't have any Estus recovery available. Or mana recovery available, I should say. But we can at least use this to keep him down a little bit by keeping our distance. And that'll do it. That's all we can do. Oh, that's a grab attack. We do not want to get caught by that, that's for sure. Just got to take our time. Poke him down bit by bit and... Take advantage of him there while he's down like that. Oh, I just noticed as well, you actually get extra damage if you hit him directly in the mouth there. We're hitting for 300, but then when we poke to the top of his head, we're hitting for like 126. Yeah, there we go, exactly. Dung pies. Oh, God. Yeah, well, for a creature such as thine self, that certainly makes sense. We get the Court Sorcerer set. That actually looked pretty sweet. Speaking of which, in the future, I think it might be cool if I actually read up on a couple more armor sets that we've picked up. I know we did that. I think we did a bit of that. Let me see. I think we did that a little bit of a... Uh... We've done a few of those pieces for sure. We did a little bit of that a while ago. We've read a few of the bits there, but in the future, I think I'm going to scrub up on those a little bit more as well. A bit more reading for us. I know you guys like it just as much as me, which is great as well, I must say. This guy's going to be quite hard to fight, I think, just in case. I'm going to get an ember there. Uh, just to make sure I've got healing potential, if need be. I'm going to do it now, just to make sure. And it was the... Okay, it was actually clutch. It was the smartest play of all time. Okay, don't get too cocky, though. I'm going to die here because of that. <laughs> okay, we got him. Oh, my God. It, it nearly cost me death originally. That kick, that kick just before the ember took me way down. Whew. And the court sorcerer's staff there, too. Um, but the ember just clutched in. <laughs> like, right as we went low uh, to uh, bring us back up to full, which is great. That was awesome. Um, you know, so he wasn't able to get another hit on us to finish us off. 
Uh, wow, that was good. Yeah, very cool. Good fight. We did nearly die because of that, though. Or at least getting the getting cocky side of things, saying it was the greatest calculated move of all time and things like that. But um, thankfully, we do survive anyway. So that's all good. Cool stuff. All right, let's see what this is. Rubbish. Okay. And there's the bonfire right there, which is sweet, too. Good to know that we can just jump back down to that if need be. And also, we've got another room off in this direction. Now, there's no way you're telling me that there's nothing in this room. There's got to be. Right? Can we do anything with a candle? Okay, usually when I see rooms like this... Let me just check the walls first so I don't say something dumb. Doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, usually when I see rooms like this, it's normally... Um, not always, but sometimes, occasionally in the past, when there has been rooms like this, um, it means that an NPC just may show up here and stand in here like that, you know, it, just off to the side. Very fitting, I think. It, it, it kind of fits with the flow quite well, the design. So, um, I'm assuming maybe an NPC could show up here at some point, or, you know, th there is potential for it to happen. Whether we've missed a chance or not, it is, you know, it doesn't really matter. It, it's nonsense, because, um, you know, regardless... The NPC can still show up here at some point anyway. That's my only point, regardless of whether we missed it or not. Hmm, doesn't look to be anything in here, though. It was definitely worth checking out either way. And that's where this leads, is it? Just down here. Alrighty then, I guess. We will rest up at the bonfire then, because it looks like it's perfect time to episode end the episode too. <laughs> Hiccups, my goodness. And um, beyond that, I, I am aware, by the way, that there is still a path to go down there. We can only do one at once, folks. Don't you worry. I've not forgotten. We will remember to go down there at some point, too. Um, but as of right now, I think I'm going to rest at the bonfire and then continue up through that path. Because we did see that there was um, another staircase leading up just before the drop down there as well. So we can, we can certainly take a look at that in the next one, I think. Either that or I'll surprise you all with the, a brighter style uh, Sullivan fight. Um, but, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm undecided on that right now. So, uh, we'll see how that goes when the time comes. And I guess it's time to end. Once again, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I really enjoyed recording this episode. If you enjoyed watching, please feel free to leave a like on the episode. If not, no hard feelings. And once again, this has been Beetlewolf. Thank you very much. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.